So we discussed about combination reactions and we discussed about decomposition. In the two decomposition reactions we discussed that is thermal decomposition and electrolytic decomposition. Now the third category of decomposition is photolytic decomposition. Photolytic decomposition. Photolytic decomposition means the decomposition in presence of or decomposition due to photo. Photo means what? Light. So by passing light through a reactant, if it decomposes into simpler products, two or more products, then it is known as photolytic decomposition. Normally for photolysis, the light in the form of UV radiation will, we will be passing through. So let us consider there are certain uh, 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 photolytic reactants. That means there are certain chemical substances which are more uh, reactive towards uh, light. Photosensitive reactants. This photosensitive reactants example is silver halides like silver bromide or if it is silver chloride. These are normally we are using in silver bromide, we are using in black and white photography. So when sunlight is passed through it, so you can represent UV above the aroma, it will break down, it will break down like this and you will get silver and bromine. Here you will be getting silver and chlorine. Is this representation is correct? No. Why? Because diatomic bromine can exist as diatomic chlorine also existing as diatomic only. In the beginning we discussed. Now we can check here bromine is 2 but in this case bromine is 1 only. So we can put a number 2 over here to balance that. If bromine is balanced, now you have to check silver. Silver is 2, in this side silver is 1 only, so now it is balanced. Similarly, we can try to balance chlorine. Chlorine in this case, it is 2 chlorine. Here it is only 1, so we can put chlorine as 2. For that, we are not supposed to write a 2 over here, it is wrong, so you can put 2 here. So as we are putting 2 here, the silver to be balanced, so 2 Ag, so you can put 2 here also. So this is a photolytic decomposition reaction. So we discussed about combination. Combination means what? Two or more reactants combined to form a single product. That is combination. Decomposition means what? A single reactant is converted into two or more products. That is decomposition. Now the third category, third type of reaction we have to discuss. That is displacement reaction. For studying the displacement reaction, you should know a particular concept. I, uh, I think in grade 11, you, sorry, grade 9, you studied about the reactivity series. Reactivity series, if you know, you will be able to write this displacement reactions. What do you mean by reactivity series? Reactivity series means series of elements we are arranged. Arranged in the decreasing order. in the decreasing order of their reactivity. Decreasing order of their reactivity. So we can consider the reactivity series. I will give you a, uh, a shortcut method to study about reactivity series. That is PSC. PSC we can uh, connect like Public Service Commission. It's an organization which is providing job for the qualified people. Back in India, I'm talking about the PSC Public Service Commission. PSC required a qualification MA. MA means Master's Degree in Arts. So 
PSC Public Service Commission required a qualification MA and the student name Zintil and his initial is H that means father's name is Huzai. Zintil H he is having commerce PG commerce spelling my chemistry spelling Commerce is C-O-M-E-R-S. In chemistry, we are writing commerce as C-O-M-E-R-S. Commerce, PG. PG or GP. In both the uh, ways, you can write because both of them are same only. Why I am saying uh, writing this PG? For remembering this order. So, Zindel H is having commerce post-graduation. So, PSC required a qualification, MA. A student name, Zindel H. He is having commerce post graduation psc ma zindel h commerce pg please try to study the reactivity series like this way so what is this p stands for p stands for potassium it's first literally i took so its symbol is k s stands for sodium it is na C stands for calcium, not carbon. Carbon is a non-metal. CA. M stands for magnesium. It is MG. A stands for aluminium. It is AL. So, PSC MA full form I wrote. Now, zinc. Z stands for zinc. Symbol will be Zn. I stands for iron. Fe. N stands for nickel. Ni. T stands for tin. Sn. L stands for lead. Pb. H is hydrogen. I included over here because uh, 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 in uh, the reactivity series we are con considering hydrogen also to study the reactivity then here in this case co h is hydrogen then co together co together it indicates copper i am taking co together copper cu is the symbol and mer also i am taking together so mer is mercury mer is mercury it is hg and s stands for silver silver it is ag and p stands for platinum p stands for platinum it is pt and G stands for gold. It is AU. But GP or PG both will be uh, showing the same reactivity only. In book uh, textbook, uh, it may be given as GP only. For by hurting this order only, I uh, made it as PG. But both of them are having same reactivity. They are least reactive only. So PSC, MA, Zindelaj, Commerce, PG. This is the reactivity series. If you know the reactivity series and the position of elements uh, in the reactivity series, in the left hand side, it will be more reactive. When you are moving towards the right, the reactivity will be uh, decreasing. So the reactivity series, I hope you understood what is reactivity series. Now we can move to the next topic that is the display reaction if you know this reactivity series then it is easy for you to study the displacement reactions also 
So the displacement reaction. Again, I will show you the schematic representation of displacement reaction. How to study the displacement reaction. So let us consider a fat, strong person is approaching and a very thin, slim person is sitting. He is sitting in a chair. Okay. And if this person is so strong enough, what will happen? He will be pushing this thin one from the chair. So what will happen? We can see. In the chair, the big fatty one will be sitting. And what will happen to the thin one? Poor thin one is falling down. So this is a displacement reaction. The very simple method to remember the displacement reaction. So always please do remember what exactly that thick fat person indicates he should be the strong metal and this thin will be the weak person weak person is attached to the chair that means weak person weak metal should be always in the combined state combined state means compound form so the weak metal is attached with chair means it should be a weak metal attached with a, a radical or a, any a, a negative ions like that so it is in the salt form and the strong person strong metal will displace the weak metal from its salt so we can say the display we can define displacement reaction the reaction in which Reaction in which a highly reactive element, highly reactive element displaces, displaces a least reactive, least reactive metal from its salt, from its salt. This is a displacement reaction. So highly reactive metal, highly reactive element displays a least reactive metal. This is highly reactive metal, reactive metal displays a weak reactive metal or least reactive metal from its salt. For example, let us consider I am taking zinc metal placing in copper sulfate solution. What will happen? I am representing this one. Zinc is here and copper is here. So how can we represent? Zinc is more strong or powerful. So I am writing a fat, thick, strong zinc is approaching. And who is here? Copper. Copper is compared to zinc. It is weaker. So a weak metal is sitting in the chair. What is chair? Sulfate is the chair. So this is copper and this is sulfate. Sulfate is sitting in the chair. So what will happen? Sing will displace copper. So you will be getting sing sulfate plus copper. So here you can see that zinc sulfate means what is that zinc sulfate? The fat person is in the chair and the weak one fell down. So this is a displacement reaction. 